What's up guys, my name is Sean Brown, and today I'm going to tell you how to do the freeze frame clone effect that you may have seen on my Instagram or Red Bulls, which I drew inspiration from. And I'm going to tell you how to do this within five simple steps, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button to show your support. Okay, so for step one is filming. You're gonna either want to use your camera or your phone, and you can see I have it on my tripod here. It's not a requirement, but you wanna make sure the background is stable when you're filming because this is gonna make it the easiest way when you're editing. Okay, so when you start off, you're gonna be wanting to look at your playback, and you just wanna make sure you're not too close to the camera. You can see like as I'm walking up close, my head gets chopped off, and you do not wanna be that close. You wanna make sure you have a really wide angle, so Make sure you have a little bit of headroom for when you jump up, uh, just so your head doesn't get cut off during the video. And one thing you're also gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna roll the sides while looking at your playback and see where you can start and see where the clip ends. You can see here, like I'm right near the end of the frame. And this just helps so you know uh, to center your trick during the video and that's where you're gonna try to freeze frame it. So after you know how your shot is set up, as simple as it sounds, you're just gonna wanna go and do your trick and try as hard as you can to go in the middle of the frame. And then uh, when you're done with this, you're gonna wanna check back over your footage just to make sure you did it without your head getting chopped off or anything, just to make sure it looks perfect. Step two, screenshotting the footage. And what you're gonna need is you're gonna need an editing software that works in layers because you're gonna need to place the freeze frame over top of the original video. So as you can see, I'm working in Premiere Pro but you can also get a 30 day free trial for this so you guys aren't going to be left out and I'm also going to be putting links in the description for free alternatives uh, which work in layers and a tutorial that teaches you how to use this. But uh, first what you want to do is you're going to want to import uh, your video that you just recorded and you're going to just drag it into here on the timeline or however it is for your software that you're using. So you're going to want to drag over to the start point and just kind of crop it there. and you're gonna see here, it's gonna run through and do the trick that you just did. So, what you wanna do is find the point where you wanna freeze it. So I'm gonna find a point, which I think is probably good right about here. And you're gonna look on your software for where to screenshot the footage. And on Premiere Pro, it is right here where this little snapshot uh, icon is. So I'm gonna click on there and I'm gonna name it how I want it, so I'm gonna say cake flip freeze frame and you're gonna choose browse to uh, where you want it to import I mean uh, to export to and let's see I'm gonna choose uh, where I want to to keep it all together which is the freeze frame example select folder there and then you press OK and now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to go to a photo editing software that also works in layers and I'm using Photoshop again for this you can get a 30 day free trial and I also have alternatives listed in the description for you to use as well so make sure you check that out so what you're going to do is you're going to open your um, photo that you just got so for Photoshop is control O or you can go to file and then do uh, open and you're going to want to look for your video that you put it in. So I've put it in freeze frame example. And here's the kickflip freeze frame. So your goal right now is to cut out or mask the background. So there's gonna you're gonna have to look for a tutorial if you're not using Photoshop, but I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial right now. So you're gonna wanna go over to here where this um, thing is. If you don't see it, you're gonna have to long press it, but it's called the ma magnetic lasso tool. And that's what you're gonna wanna use and you're gonna wanna zoom in. I'm pressing Control plus to zoom in and Control minus to zoom out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click a starting point. So I'm gonna click here and you're just gonna like drag along the outline and you don't have to worry about it being perfect yet. You can see like it kind of messed up there. Like it's not perfectly on my um, body, but you just wanna keep dragging it around. It's gonna make these points and I'm gonna tell you how to fine tune it later, but I'm gonna fast forward real quick on uh, me dragging through the points. Okay, so now you see that there is a selection made. Um, what you wanna do now is press Q on your keyboard. This is if you're using Photoshop. And you're gonna see how the background is red and I am still in color. And this is showing what's gonna be masked out, what's in red, and what's the regular color is gonna be what's kept in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna press B for brush. And then there's gonna be 
uh, brackets next to P on your keyboard, and that's how you change the size of your brush. Like on the right side is to enlarge it, uh, and on the left side is to reduce the size. So you're basically gonna use this as a brush, and I don't know if I said this sorry, before, but B is how you select the brush tool. It's also over here. But what you're gonna do is make sure this uh, square right here on the top is black. That's how you choose what to uh, get rid of when you're brushing it. Uh, but if you want to switch it to what you're keeping, then you press X and that's going to make the white on the top here. And that's how you keep stuff in. So I'm going to make sure black is on the top and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to just get some fine tune uh, edits on this. So I'm just going to, you know, see how there's grass and bushes right there. I'm going to try to cut that out as best as I can. Just change the size of the brushes. Just get the best cut you can. And you're basically just going to do this the whole way through um try to get it as best you can i'm somewhat of a perfectionist so i go like really long when i'm doing this part because i want to make sure it's the best it's uh, that it can be so it looks realistic when you actually put it in the video so just like i said before you're gonna uh do x to uh change change it to white which is what to keep stuff in so let's say see how my fingers cut off here i'm gonna change it to white by pressing x and i'm gonna you know just color over that to keep that back in then you press X to switch back over so basically that's just the way to fine-tune it so I'm gonna fast forward through uh, me just fine-tuning through the thing and also before I fast forward it you're gonna want to also make sure your skateboards in there so you can you know put your skateboard through here when coloring in and another quick way of doing something is you can click one spot here and then hold shift and then click on another spot and it makes a straight line. So you can see I just made a straight line from there to there, but that's uh, one quick way of doing something. But now I'm just gonna fast forward through of me fine tuning through uh, cutting the background out. Okay, so now once you have your uh, basic cutout made, you're gonna see the background is red and you're still in color. And once you have all these basic edits made, you're gonna wanna press Q again. And this is not perfect, perfectly cut out, but for the sake of this tutorial, I just wanted to make it quick. But you can see here, if I press Q, then it's gonna change the background, you're gonna see your normal selection. And I should've said this before, but when you're making edits to the picture with the brush tool, make sure you have the quick mask view, which is when this is red and when you're um, in color. So, but when you're done with that, you're gonna make sure you're in this view, the normal view, and then you're gonna wanna go to the bottom right corner here uh, where there's a rectangle and a circle in it, and that's how you add a mask. So, you're gonna click on that, and now you're gonna see the background is transparent and you are the one that's still in there without the background. So, you can fine tune it how you want to, um, later but this is a pretty good one for now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this so you can go to file save as and then I already saved this before but you can save it as a PSD which is a Photoshop file or a PNG so if you're using one of the free uh, photo editing softwares I would recommend saving as a PNG but if you work with Adobe I recommend a Photoshop file so you would just name it how you want it to and know where it's being saved so you want to save it and then once you're done with that, you're gonna go back to Premiere or whatever video editing software you're using and you're gonna import the footage in. And you can see here I have what I saved as a kickflip freeze frame. And I'm gonna press okay. And then I should have said this before, but when you're editing, uh, you wanna make sure you cut the footage to where it's frozen just so you know have a reference to go back to. Uh, you can do that by pressing uh, Control K or Command K on a Mac. And then you can also press M to add a marker. You can see there's a marker here. So as I drag this in, you can see if I like, even if I didn't have the uh, playhead here, I could move it over and it would be like uh, snapped on to that point. So you're gonna see like, what you're gonna wanna do is take that picture and you wanna stretch the beginning uh, all the way to the start of the clip. So you can see now we have this thing where I'm here and I'm still here though, because this is just a picture in the background. And after that, all you're gonna do is take the end of that picture and you're gonna wanna 
drag it back to where that marker was, so M. So this is, uh, sorry, I didn't need to have a video three, I just moved it to video two, but uh, this is just so when you get over your spot where you stopped it at, it's gonna stop and go into the normal footage, and it's gonna go here. And that is basically how you do it, it's just see, you just do a trick and then it goes into the picture. And my tip, seriously, is just to make sure you try to cut that uh, picture out as best as you can, just so uh, nothing looks wrong with it. But if you have a tripod shot, it's really gonna help out uh, if you made a bad cut. And you can get super creative with this. If you wanna move, like, do the same thing while the camera's moving, you might need a better editing software like After Effects, which I do not have. But you can also try to do motion tracking with that. And also, you can do multiple cutouts using the same method. So you would just uh, make sure you mark where the start is, uh, where it's cut out, and then mark um, another position where it's cut out. And then you just put those pictures and make sure they end when your uh, video actually goes through it. So when your video is finally done, you're just gonna wanna export it. And it may be different for the software you're using, but for Premiere, you're gonna go to, make sure this uh, timeline is selected, you can just click on it here. And you go to File, Export, Media. And then it should pull up a little page in a few seconds. Okay, so you're gonna see this page here and make sure you press uh, entire sequence here at the bottom for source range. And then you're gonna make sure your format is H.264 and have the preset as match source. You can do either do high bit rate for high quality or medium bit rate, bit rate to just sacrifice a little bit of quality but it exports a little bit faster. And then what you're gonna do is click on this and um, it's gonna take you on where to export it. And let's say I'll just put it back in the freeze frame example. And I'll say, let's say final video. Then you do save. And then you can choose this option to use maximum render quality, which is what I like, just to make sure it gets the best quality possible. And after that, you just press export and then you'll be done and have a final video ready. All right guys, so that was how to do the freeze frame clone effect that you've seen by Red Bull. Um, the editor is Casey McPerry, so shout out to him. Um, I didn't see any tutorials, but I just got inspired by his edit and I thought, uh, I know how to make that. So I just thought, like, why not make one? And I hope that tutorial helped you guys. Sorry if it sounded a little hard, but I tried to make it as simple as possible because um, all you really had to do was just go out and film a trick, screenshot the footage, and then mask out the background, and then edit the video um, the picture into the video and then export it. It's as simple as that. It may sound a little difficult, but you can get it with practice and there are free software that you can use to do this. Really, it may just take a little practice to do, but I promise you any of you guys can do this. So if it really helped you guys, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and make sure to send other people over who may be interested in doing this kind of edit. Uh, otherwise than that, I have all my editing and uh, equipment that I use to make my videos in the description. And yeah, I would really appreciate if you guys just check that out. It'd be super awesome. But yeah, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.